whatever you want. So we have the Lakers in the next back and forth trade discussion. So the Lakers offered Russell Westbrook in a first round pick for Kyrie. The Nets counter offer was Irving and Joe Harris for Westbrook and two first round picks. The Lakers again uh, with another counter offer, Russell Westbrook, Talon Horton Tucker, and a first round pick for Kyrie Irving and Seth Curry. The Nets counter offer Kyrie for Russell Westbrook and two first round picks. And the Lakers <laughs> counter offer again Westbrook, a first round pick, and a second round pick for Kyrie. So you can see the whole uh, situation where both both players here opted into their final deal and it's not it's just looking so bleak for them it's it's sad you see uh, a franchise like the brooklyn nets just being held hosted by by kyrie uh kd demanding a trade so potentially i don't see a situation where uh both teams are going to partake this trade maybe a blockbuster like the way uh uh, James Harden and Ben Simmons were swapped between the Philadelphia 76ers and the Brooklyn Nets in the trade airline uh, in, in last season. But both teams here uh, are, are fed up with uh, with these players. You can see on one hand, you have Kyrie. You know, uh, he is someone who is uh, very polarizing and very um, someone who is very insensitive and is not professional, especially uh when handling a max contract he has he has shown that the a franchise cannot a franchise cannot entrust him with a 141 million dollar contract and uh having an opt out at the third year and the fourth year which is very sad because when you find a player who is unprofessional i'm putting Kyrie and Ben Simmons together because they have shown that they are very um insensitive and they're not professional in how they deal with this situation and Kyrie didn't take the vaccine the vaccine mandate was lifted he played he was part in the blame and part in the reason why James Harden got traded and uh, a part of the reason why Kevin Durant is requesting a trade is demanding a trade KD cannot trust Kyrie anymore and uh, that's the whole that's the whole side in the Brooklyn Nets and Kyrie Irving saga then we look at Russell Westbrook Man, Russell Westbrook. The Lakers decided to trade for this dude in the summer, last year's offseason. Uh, they gave away Kyle Kuzma, KCP, Montrezl Harrell, and a couple of picks for Brody to come and grace the purple and gold. Uh, it was assumed that uh, this tandem was, a, was going to click and, uh, with AD, Braun, and Westbrook, given the fact that LeBron has been able to make like star players be able to fit in a system and play the same way like uh, the way Kyrie played with LeBron with the Cavs in his stand. I mean, it, it was it was something that the league thought it might work because uh, Westbrook was given KD and Harden early in his career. Uh, he has played with Victor Oladipo, Carmelo Anthony, Paul George. Uh, he has played with James Harden again in Houston. Uh, he has he has played with Bradley Beal, the Wizards. Now he's he got a chance to play with LeBron James and Anthony Davis, the Lakers. So it was assumed that um, giving uh, Russ Westbrook this luxury of playing with star players will be able to at least change his game at this point in his career. But boy, were we wrong because um, Russ Westbrook was disappointing is an understatement because there are highlight compilations of Westbrook just playing horrendously and poorly. And it's just a sad thing to watch. I mean, it is on all levels. It was the worst thing that you could subject someone to watching someone watching um someone watching like <laughs> Russ Westbrook just brick shots. Um, I mean, it, it it was just depressing, especially for the Lakers nation. Then we've got LeBron James, the the goat. LeBron James wants to sign a, uh, won't sign an extension with the Lakers if they don't land Kyrie. So he via Mark Stein. So you could see uh, LeBron just putting pulling his GM hat and forcing the Lakers front office to get Kyrie because he's fed up with playing with Russ Westbrook. And who could believe him? I mean, the Lakers were injury riddled. They're unable to, uh, after winning the 2020 chip, uh, a lot of people label it as a bubble chip. Uh, a lot of fans and faithfuls did not count that as a real championship, which is amazing to me. 
because the the this was still still given the same trophy and the same accolades as a named as a normal NBA champion, but people still rode with that story. But one thing I must say is this: if the Lakers pull the trigger and get Kyrie, and if they trade away Russell Westbrook, they are trading for a player that is in his expiring deal. They don't know his, his his mental state after after all that. They don't know how this guy is going to perform. Okay, there's an assumption that when you when you reunite K, Kyrie and LeBron James, LeBron will try to keep him in check and at least try to make him uh, the Cleveland Kyrie that we once knew and loved because this version of Kyrie. Things went downhill when Kyrie demanded a trade in 2017 and went to the Celtics. I feel like that is when he, his career just went, it became, it just went spiraling down because he has never enjoyed the same success with LeBron James. So when this trade happens, it will, actually, it will tell the NBA community that Kyrie is nothing without LeBron James because LeBron James made him that way. Otherwise, if LeBron James didn't go back to the Cleveland Cavaliers. We'll be looking at a, another version of a Kemba Walker. That's what I'm saying. Okay, a Kemba Walker is. It's not unfair to co compare it, co compare Kemba Walker and Kyrie. But all I'm trying to say is, Kyrie wouldn't have popped the way he popped. Wouldn't have been able to get to those new and greater heights without LeBron James. Okay, um, he tried. He tried it, but. Alone, he can't do it. He cannot. He he wanted to be the man of his own team. He failed with the Boston Celtics. He left in free agency the Brooklyn Nets to play second fiddle to to KD. He was not going to be the man there because KD was there. So when he go back goes back to the LeBron James, it validates every it validates and 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 shows that he can't win without LeBron James. That is the the narrative that's going to be spread and. Considering he's an expiring contract, I don't know if the Lakers are going to trust him with another max contract. That is one thing that, or a near max, because this guy, when you give him max money, he, he, you don't know what you're getting. I'd rather any team that's going to get this guy, they have to sign like two, three. The, if it's a four year deal, there's an opt out clause in every single season for flexibility because you don't know who this guy is. Or it's a team option, or even a player option. Kyrie right now, if he's going to be given a max deal worth like 160 million, it has to be a team option every season. Because the team can decide to ever let you go or keep you. He's not a player who has shown that he knows how to use the player option well. He doesn't he doesn't want to listen to anyone. He does everything his own way. And I feel like any team that's going to sign him, they must have a team option on it. And uh yeah, that's all I have to say about that. So I've I've made a couple of videos on K on Kyrie and Westbrook getting traded. I'm not sure those those are just my sentiments on them. We're just waiting to see how whether the Brooklyn Nets and Lakers are going to pull the trigger on this trade. So, yeah, man, uh, I'm out. I'm gonna see you in the next upload.